uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development uh, and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video in the series of videos on uh, Excel basics, and more importantly, basic functions that we can actually use within Excel, uh, is going to deal with the function called variance. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to try to calculate is we're going to try to calculate the variance of a particular data set. Now, there's two things to keep in mind here when you want to calculate the variance. Uh, that there's two versions of the variance in, in, in Excel. And there's two variants of the ver of the variance actually in within statistics, just naturally, yeah? There's what's known as the sample variance, and there's what's known as the population variance. Now, it depends on whether your data has been randomly selected from a population, okay? If it has been, well, then it's called sample data. If it's the full population data, as in it's all observations for a particular con from a particular context well then it's actually population data but for our purposes we're just going to calculate the variance in both cases for sample assuming it to be sample data and also assuming it to be population data uh, now we can define what the variance is the variance is 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 defined to be the average square distance that observations are away from the mean value Okay. Let's not worry too much about that at this stage. What we'd like to be able to do is we'd like to be able to calculate the variance of this particular data. Okay. So what I'll do first is I'll just calculate the overall variance of all of these observations. Okay. And I'll put that into this particular cell here. And let's assume it to be sample data. So what I'll calculate is I'll calculate the sample variance. So once again, like all of our functions, to go into function mode in Excel, we just hit the equal sign, followed by the name of the function that we want to that we want to apply. Now, this is the sample variance. Actually, in Excel, this is called var, okay? Var, and actually, you can see here that I have a number of options. I have var p, I have var s, I have var a, and var p a. Actually, what we're interested in is var s, which is the variance of sample data. So I'm just gonna click on var s, and you can see that we have an open and a closed bracket here where the icon is actually flashing between the open and closed bracket. That's where I specify the range of values to be to be calculated on. So I'm going to choose from C3 all the way down to uh, G14. So actually what I'm going to calculate here is the sample variance for this whole data set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit return. And what it's saying here is that the sample variance is 22.666 and so on. Yeah. If I want to calculate the population variance, well, let me maybe just put that in this cell here. And once again, to go into, into function mode, I hit equals, followed by the name of the function. In this case, it's var.p, followed by an open round brace. So that's the variance of p, the variance of a population. So what I do is I specify the range of values from C3 all the way down to G14. And I close the bracket off and I hit return. So actually the population variance, if this was population data, is 22.28. You can see actually that they're quite similar, but mathematically they're subtly different to each other. Okay. So let's continue. Say if I want to calculate the variance of each column of data, okay. Well, if, if I'm going to assume it to be sample data, click on the first cell here where I want to place the actual answer, okay. I go into function mode by hitting equals and it's called var dot s for sample variance followed by an open round bracket and i highlight the cells that i want to calculate the sample variance of so i'm going to highlight them cells you can see i've got from c3 to c14 and i hit return so the sample variance of that data set in the first column is 16.57 approximately now, if I want to calculate the sample variance for all the columns, all I do is I hold down this uh, the, the, this particular, I suppose you can see the cell has a small little square down the right-hand corner. I just click on that, and I drag the cell across to the end, and what that does is it calculates the sample variance for each column of data. In a similar way, if I want to calculate the sample variance for each one of the rows, I go into function mode, equals, var, dot s for sample variance open round bracket and i specify the row of data that i want to calculate the variance for the sample variance so i close off my round brace and i hit return in this case the sample variance for this row of data these five data values is 36.7 and once again if i want to apply this down the column i hold a little small square button here in the bottom right hand corner of this cell and i drag this down to the end and that'll calculate the sample variance for each row of data. Uh, like the way we calculate the population variance, if I want to calculate the population variance for all of the columns, I say this is equal to var.p, open round brace. 
I activate the first cell, I drag it down to the end, I close it off with the close round brace and I hit return, and that gives me my population variance for the first column of data. And I'll apply that in a, like, in a similar manner to before across all of the columns here, okay, which calculates the population variance for each column of data. If I want to calculate the population variance for each, each row, once again, I say this is equal to var dot p for population followed by an open round brace and I specify the data that I want to calculate the population variance of. So that's the first row, close off the round brace and hit return and then finally what we do is we apply this down, this function down this particular column. So the function is being applied to each row and what we've done here is we've calculated the variance for the population variance for each row. Now I've done every possible, uh, I suppose, application here of sample variance and population variance across a whole data set, across specific columns and also across specific rows. In your case, I'm sure you'll probably have to calculate the sample variance or even the population variance just for a specific collection of values. But we've done all, nearly all possibilities here. Uh, so. That's really that. So guys, once again, uh, my name is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland, and I hope this video was somewhat helpful and intuitive.